Hi everyone and welcome to the 13th lecture of the tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem distinct colors. Now the problem says we have given a rooted tree consisting of n nodes. The nodes are numbered from 1 to n and node 1 is the root. Each node has a color. Your task is to determine for each node the number of distinct colors in the subtree of the node. So this is the given tree and these are the colors of each node. Now in this tree, for the fourth node, there are only there is only one distinct color in the in subtree which is two. So the answer of the fourth node would be one. For the fifth node also there this would be one. For the third node in its subtree then the colors are one and two, right? Because three the third node also has the color two. So the answer for this would be two. The second node is just one. In the first node, the number of distinct colors in this whole tree are 1, 2, and 3. This is the answer for this would be 3. Right. Now, what we can do is we can run a DFS that will go to each node and let's say for this particular node, firstly it will create an empty set and that in that for all the children. All of these will be having their own sets for their own subtrees, and the set is in this particular node. In the DFS would insert all the colors from these two children, and the size of that set would be the answer. Right now, if we have a set A and B with sizes n and m, the merging of these two sets would be m. The time complexity for the would be m log m plus n, right? The the worst case for the whole tree would be we go off n square log n, right? And this is obviously too slow and won't work. So what we can do is we will be using a technique called small to large merging. Let's begin. Let's say I want to find the number of distinct colors in the subtree rooted at the third node. So let's say I have the I already have the answer for the sixth and the seventh node. The set for the sixth node would be 17, 7, 3, 1, and 4. And the set for the seventh node would contain three, right? And starting with the third node, I have and set initially with the color two. Now, for the first child, the set is the set contains seven three one four. Now this is obviously a larger set than this. So what I'll do is I'll swap these two. Now swapping takes off one time or constant time. Now the set with three will become seven three one four, and the set that I have to merge into this would become this containing just one element. I'll merge it into this, and this would become seven three one four and two. So the set will now have five elements. Now, for the next child, this set contains just one element which is smaller than this. So we will not swap. Now, three, three already exist in this set. So this set will remain the same, and this will be the final set for the sub tree rooted at 3 and the size is 5 right now doing this for the whole tree the time complexity would be n of log square n now let me explain why firstly whenever I am making an insertion 
or the merging of a smaller set into the larger set the smaller set the number of elements in the smaller set is the number of operations i am doing right so let's say this smaller set has x elements now the larger set will have to have at least x elements right so the final set will become 2x now we know that merging a smaller set of size m into a larger set of size n would take big o of m n time complexity and an element that has been moved let's say y times will be doubled y about y times so it will be in a set of size 2 to the power y and we know that the maximum size equal to n so y will become log of n right this log n times we are merging and the total becomes time complexity becomes m into log square n right now let's look at the code firstly this is the this is for the tree and we have a array of set for the colors and in the pre-processing part for each child we firstly pre-process that the color size of this particular node is less than the color size of the child we firstly swap and then we do the merging and then we save the count in this particular array then we firstly take the input we pre-process at the first node taking the parent as zero and then we print the answer that's it make sure you subscribe and share this video thank you for watching